Hey everybody, it's Mike and Chef Boy Armani, and we're in the kitchen, and it's the holidays. You know how you can tell? Look at our village turned on up above the, up above the uh, cabinets. Heck yeah! So I'm gonna work on getting the dough ready for for the um, cutout cookies. Um, let me find Chef Boy Armani. Hey, Chef Boy Armani, where are you at? It's cookie time! So we're gonna do Maddie's favorite. We're gonna make some cutout cookies. So, so Chef Boy Armani. Wait a minute. Chef Boy Armani? You're imposter, Chef Boy Armani. I am today. Looks like the boss is going to join us. Chef Boy Armani had a swim meet this morning. She's exhausted, wiped out. She's taking a nap. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out, get the dough ready. That way, next time you see us, we're cutting cookies and bacon, baby. Heck yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and I'll, I'll tell you real quick about our recipe. So our recipe is called Sweetheart Cookies. And look. You know how you know this is an ancient Chinese secret? It comes on a recipe card, guys. So I'm not going to give you all the details, but I'm going to tell you how to make them. You can watch me. If you can figure it out, good for you. <laughs> so, all right. So these are called sweetheart cookies. Oh, yeah. We got to get the paddle out yet. Chef, the boss is going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, I forgot to get the paddle out. So... In these cookies here, like I said, it comes. It, it, it's a family recipe. They're called sweetheart cookies. Um, so what it calls for is it calls for a half a. So this is divided. In, this is like the regular size, but I'm going to double just so you're aware. I want you to know that. So it calls for a half a cup of shortening, half a cup of white sugar, two, one egg, a quarter cup of light brown sugar. Okay, sour cream and some other odd is and ends like flour baking powder baking soda she says i'm not allowed to give you the whole recipe so anyhow anyways so and eggs you know all that good stuff and then what happens is guys sit in a refrigerator for like it's up to for two to two to four hours or overnight however so what i'll do is i'll just let it sit overnight and tomorrow we'll bake we'll cut them out and we'll do another segment so you got to come back that's what you got to do all right so first off all right so what we have to do is um we have to do our flour portion. Okay, I'll tell you. It says I have to sift the flour into the thing when we're um after we've mixed and creamed the butter together. Y'all know how much I like sifting stuff. That's gonna be loads of fun. Not at all. All right. So it calls for two and a half cups of flour. So I'm doubling my ah! imposter chef boy or Matt, he's killing me already. <laughs> we gotta put all the other stuff in. So what I did is I have I have the flour right here, right? I've already poured it in because it's five cups. Five cups of flour. Two and a half twice. Boom. So next we have to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Chef where I'm at, he's in charge of that. Oh, sorry, the boss. Okay. She says I'm not supposed to say it. One teaspoon. Okay. Uh, and then it's one teaspoon of one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah, but you're not supposed to tell them. You've already told them. There she's, goes my she's killing family me. recipe. All right, so it, it does. Let me double check. All-purpose flour. Okay, so then what we got to do is um. Take the spoon here, like this, and just kind of stir it around. All right, mix it in. So it's all good to go there. Okay, look, so I'm gonna tell you. So I'm gonna have to stop like four or five different times because I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna show you something. This is how we have to figure these recipes out. Look, it's in cursive. I don't even know anybody that reads cursive anymore. So if I look like I'm not doing really good, it's because I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Right. No, I got it. I just had to go and find everything and try to remember how to read cursive. Okay. So there's that. So that's all together. It's just like putting chocolate chip cookies. You put the put the put the dry ingredients together and then you set it off to the side, just like that. And we keep the boss out of trouble. Toss them over our okay. shirt like that. All right, so there's that. All right, so in, in our mixing bowl right here, right, guys? Pull this out. 
All right, it calls for half a cup of shortening. Okay, so it's so awesome because uh, nowadays, nowadays, they um they make shortening in bricks, right? You don't have to buy it and measure it all out. It all comes that way. Um, I use the Crisco butter flavored shortening. All right, and so we're gonna dump a dump a brick of that in there. Bam! It's already measured out. Boom! All done. Perfect. Let me see that. I'm not gonna throw that on the floor. No. <laughs> Loads of fun. So there's the shortening. We've got one cup of sugar. White sugar right here. You should probably um. Look, I get it off of her face too. There we go. So we're gonna pour one cup of sugar. We got those eggs. Two huevos. Do you want to do the eggs? I'll do one. You do one. Okay. You do one. I do one. Oh! What? Wait a minute. Put that over. We may be, we may be putting the cart before the horse here. Oh yeah, and eggs. Okay. Just making sure. Dump it in. Don't get any shells in there. We've got brown sugar that's got to go in there. Brown sugar is light brown sugar. It's a half a cup. Oh, I just made a huge mess. That is not my intention at all. One would think Cart before the horse. One would think that Maddie was down here helping me. The mess that I just made. It's like it's not coming out. There you go. In here? Yep. Dump it in there. And then what we're going to do is the eggs. Oh, the eggs can go away. All right. So that, we're going to put the, put the beater on there. Break that stuff together. Cream it. Start to cream it together like that. I'm going to clean up my little bit of mess that I made. Just like that, I'm going to add uh, my, my one teaspoon of vanilla. Since Jen is busy doing that other stuff, I'm going to go ahead and add this teaspoon of vanilla. That's just a little bit of extra vanilla. That gives it a little bit of love. Oh. We're done there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clean that together, get everything all mixed up real good. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Get my hands all off. So I'm going to put my lid back on here, get the brown sugar out of the way. That one's done. We're going to say, hey, Miss Jen, how are we doing? Oh, we, we look, okay. So we're going to drop the bowl down, right? So what we're going to do is we're drop the bowl down. We're going to crank that thing up real high. So it's going to knock all of our, our wet ingredients off. We're going to shut it down. All right. Shut, shut. We got to add, you're right, we got to drop the sour cream in there. I'm glad that Miss Jen's right here with me, keep me in line. Sour like, cream is the secret ingredient in these cookies. Secret ingredient. I'm going to tell you it's sour cream, but I'm not going to tell you how much. <laughs> is that all right? I've hidden the ingredient from. You all right with that? Whatever. Wait a minute. Did we need? We needed to really um clean that. That's what exactly what I needed. Hundred percent. We're perfectly fine. Perfect. Perfectly fine. Perfect. We're gonna drop that in there just like that. We're gonna put that back he up. He said wet ingredients, and he totally forgot the secret ingredient. I did it. I did forget the secret ingredient because you guys know I don't usually use the secret ingredient, but 
you know, the secret ingredient is even a secret to me. All right, so we're gonna get that all mixed in there. Well, I'll go ahead and not whack, whack it with the batter, the beater. I'm gonna turn it down and then turn it to the sides. Just like that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. All right, so now I have to sift, and you guys know I don't own a sifter. That thing you do like that, I just don't. Why, I have no idea. We do enough cookies that I should have a sifter. But I don't. All right, so that's all mixed up, right? So Miss Jen's gonna drop it down, crank it up real high. All right, we're gonna knock that off for a second. We're gonna go like this, we're gonna take the beater out. Okay, watch. Take that off just like that. Set that to the side. I'm gonna take my, since I don't have a sifter, I'm going to take my, um, my colander right there. I'm gonna stick it in there and I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of this in here like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that. And then I'm gonna run my spoon right around the edge and um, knock it in there. Get my flour sifted right through there just like this. This is a time consuming process, you gotta know that. So um, just keep spinning around just like that. It takes some time. It's not a lot, not a lot of fun, but this is part of the deal. What's wrong? This is what the process is. Interesting. It's not. I'll whack it. It'll go a little bit further this way. Not even half. Not even half. So either, but this is what it calls for. Which is probably part of my problem. We're gonna try even better this time. So sifting is part of part of the deal. So as we're sifting right here, right guys? Um Look, we're going to take a 15 second commercial break. Um, when you come back, we'll be doing the exact same thing, I promise you. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed uh, the time with our sponsors. Oh, wait, we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> we just took some time off while we were sifting because it took us 35 minutes to sift all this flour through this thing without the sifter. So, um, as you can see, now we're done. It really didn't take that long. Well, about like 35 minutes. Mrs. Jen is such to sift. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, so we got the flour all sifted into there now, and what we're gonna do is drop the um, drop the beater back in, put it on the mixer. We're gonna do look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of quick little turns just to start to get it mixed up. Then we're gonna go ahead and run it around. Because while we were gone, I had a little flour accident with the mixer. We did have a flour accident, but you know, it's okay. Accidents are meant to be made. Yeah. So we're gonna go like that, pull it all the way up, turn, put our thing up, and we're just gonna do, wait, 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 wait. Let's just go ahead and go like this. I think that's a good idea. Not that one! Oh. We can't use the Christmas towel to make Christmas cookies. Sorry, everybody. We get to use the random, regular, everyday towel to make Christmas cookies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it like this. That way the flour doesn't all shoot out of the mixer like it did just a few minutes ago. That would have been something to catch on. So anyhow, all right, so what we're gonna do there is now, and now we've got our stuff, our dough all mixed it up really good, right? Um, yeah, you can turn it as high as you want. All right, so now it's just kind of here beating around. That's a lot of dough in this, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of cutout cookies tomorrow. And we're gonna ice them too. You'll love it, it'll be a blast. All right, oh, perfect. All right, so what you do now is you drop it down. All right, drop it down. Turn it on and just knock it off. Knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. All right, very good. Put it back up. Is Jen's flinging dough at me? Should I do that? Put it back up. Drop it down. Scrape the edges. We're gonna drop it down, scrape the edges. Thick. That's how it's, it's supposed to be. It's super thick. It's not even coming off the edges. Mm, that's right. 
Mm, it's like it's like play-doh, y'all. It is really thick. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead. We're, we're gonna go ahead and knock it off of there. The rest of the stuff on the beat. Well, actually, we'll probably put it up since we just scraped the sides. Mix it around one more time. One more time. Just like that. We're gonna drop our bowl down. We're gonna knock it off our beater, right? All right, and then after we knock it off of our beater, we're gonna go ahead and cover it and put it in a refrigerator overnight. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do the cutting out part. So the dough will be all good to go. All right, so until next time, um, ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer and I would like to say thank you. Them are sweetheart cookies with Mike and Jen and Chef Water Maddie and Foster. Thank you.